Now, the next topic will be introduction to DBMS, Database Management System, which is actually Unit 6. Now, the learning objective, here we are going to understand the concept of database. Okay. Also to get an idea of Database Management System, DBMS. Also to understand the database management system in GIS environment, which is your Geo Geodatabase management system and how to create the Geo Database for Geoinformatics applications. So these three broad objectives we are going to achieve. Now overview, few definitions like what is data, a raw fact, okay, we know the difference between data and information, right, any raw fact is data. If you process that data, it will be information. Now, database. Database is actually a systematic collection of data which is stored and accessed digitally or manually. Okay, digitally, then it will be a computer system, manually, traditional system. But everything is a database. Our traditional file system is also a database, right? Now, then what is database management? Database management is actually creation and maintenance of a collection of organized data. This is database management. Now, what is database management in computer environment? The repository, the catalog we are going to maintain to keep our data so that we can access it at any point of time is your database management. Now, now system is added to the concept. Database management system. Now, the system to make this accessing and maintaining the database easier, okay, we have taken help of some computer applications which is known as a software. So basically DBMS, database management system, is it is a software package, okay, which is designed to define, manipulate, manipulate means making changes, retrieve and manage the data in a database. Okay, so database, database management and database management system. So database management system is a concept in the IT information computer, okay, computer science, where we are going to take help of a particular software application, which can help us, okay, for data keeping, data editing, data retrieving or data managing. So this is DBMS, very simple, the concept. Now. What are the functionalities? As I have already mentioned a few of the functionalities. First functionality is that data definition. Okay, so DBMS enables the creation of data and also modification of the definition regarding data organization. So it can modify data, it can define data. For instance, suppose uh, a student database. Okay, now in the student database there are different categories like the general information regarding the student okay then the exam branch will have another database okay regarding the exam performance okay or the account branch will have the information regarding the fee structure okay so the dbms will define these different sets of data and it will integrate them okay if the admin wish to know that this particular you know student who is going to appear for this exam this year whether he has paid his he or she has paid his or her fee or not or or whether he is eligible to pay the fee or not okay whether the person has you know good achievements or good performance in the middle midterm exam or internal exams whether he or she has submitted the assignment so these things will come from the general information exam branch will not then allow the students to sit in the exam and then you will not be able to pay the fee so this is a, the data definition these are the three different data sets so three different data sets will be defined and managed in dbms update definitely suppose you have paid the fee then immediately your database will be updated in a, using a dbms system and you will be able to pay the fee this is data update okay now retrieval suppose the admin wish to know your performance in the last two semester exams. No? Now simply I have to call by your roll number or any, any enrollment number for two semester exams. Then immediately I can get the information, right? So this is retrieval. From a central database, I am retrieving a specific information. So data, DBMS enables that, okay? facilitates that. 
Hmm? Then administration. This includes registering, monitoring the users, okay, data integrity, data security. Because suppose for this university, any XYZ person from outside cannot access the central database. You have an administrator login and password. That person only can go into the central database and can do all these analysis or retrieval or updation of data. Any person cannot update the data. For the students, they can only update their informations only. Okay, they can view only their informations, not their fellow friends. Okay, so this is known as an administration, data administration. DBMS enables that. Okay, so this is the advantage over traditional filing system. Okay, you can uh, restrict the user access. Okay, now basis of database system. DBMS helps to create and maintain the database. DBMS facilitates the following table. So you can contain the data in a form of a table. We all know the definition of a table, right? Next, queries. It allows a specific queries. For instance, this semester, how many students are yet to pay their exam fee? This is a query, right? I want to know. If I ask this, place this query in a DBMS system, automatically a report will be generated, right? A report will be generated. I can get the print. And I can see, okay, these are the students who are yet to pay their exam fees. Okay, so this is reports and forms. Someone has already paid. Okay, either it will automatically be updated or suppose there is a some, you know, discrepancy in the data. Then the administrator can also go and update that specific entry in the form you know in the in the in in in, in, in the form where the students entire information is uh, can be accessed that means a user you graphic user interface ui the forms will be there specific entries will be there where it's a simply data entering data you know editing kind of a method advantage of dbms over traditional filing system independent data and program what what is this independence is all about you see, we have so many software packages for data editing, data manipulation, and data analysis. And all of them are using different file formats. Like for OpenOffice, you have a different file format for Excel. If we take Excel as a database, for example, then in Microsoft Office, MS Office, this is XLS. OpenOffice, a different. WPS Office, different extensions. So all of them has different extensions in case of your database but in dbms it is maintaining an independent you know database data that means anybody any software package you can just you can retrieve the data in any format that means for your analysis okay data shareability i can share the data the admin can share the data with the account branch or to the exam branch exam branch can share the data with the admin or to the departments to the faculties okay so data shareability enhance the data shareability non redundancy no discrepancy no redundancy in the data okay because you all the time you can you are going to update the data you can retrieve the data you can see the forms analysis and everything so there will be no data redundancy centralized control as i have already mentioned the administrator control in the database okay data security and integrity Okay, same, the nobody can enter, nobody can corrupt the file, nobody can update the file without the, you know, permission of the administrator. That means administrator login and password will be required. Performance and efficiency, definitely it is going to be efficient because in terms of time and cost, because the traditional filing system required a huge space, huge time, huge investment. Okay, here it is going to be a one-time investment. Okay, you only have to, you know, get the package and you will be able to maintain huge number of databases so these are a few popular dbms mysql sql server microsoft access okay postgresql mongodb oracle these are the standard most popular dbms now now let's bring that concept of database management into gis environment okay so here we have to understand the particular concept of geo database okay now this geo database is a collection of geographic data set of various type and formats so this database management system when it is 
in GIS environment where we are going to deal with the geographic database that means geographic information this is a geo database okay so basically geo database contains three primary data types feature classes raster data set and tables now what is this feature classes now this feature classes actually are homogeneous collection of common features each having some special representations now in GIS environment we know that all the entities on the earth surface can get only three special representation point line and polygon area okay so this feature class are the homogeneous collection of common features the point will be club under point feature class okay or the point then your uh, line will be the line so all these individual feature class okay will be arranged under these feature classes this particular data set type now the raster data set any image any image digital image is a raster data set right and the tables so these are three broad data set types in under geo database now this is a broad data set type okay like feature data set feature class feature data set is a thematically related features will be placed under a feature data set thematically related means suppose you are interested for mapping the or to create the roadmap of Assam okay now how many layers you will have feature classes you will have you will have the administrative boundaries which will be a polygon you will, be ha you will have a line which is going to be a pol polyline maybe the important uh, places cities this is going to be point so all these feature classes will be under the feature data set okay so this is the feature data set then feature class tables relationship class this relationship class is actually the topology i'm coming to it the topology raster data set mosaic data set and geo processing toolbox there will be a geo processing toolbox